In this video, I'm going to take a look at how you determine the units for the rate constant. So the first thing we need to say is that the units of K depend on the overall order for the reaction. What do we mean by overall order? It's the sum of the individual orders. So for the purpose of the video, I'll look at zero, first, second and third order overall and derive the units. So we'll start with zero order overall. So obviously the rate equation would need to look like that. And the first thing we can do is lose this concentration of A to the zero term because anything to the power zero is equal to one. So the rate equation just goes to that. So therefore the units of K will be the same as the units of rate, which are moles per decimeter cubed per second. So moving on to first order overall, so typical rate equation would look like that, where you've just got one reactant and its first order. So the first thing we need to do is rearrange to make K the subject of the equation. So it becomes K equals rate over the concentration of A. So the units of K are going to be the units of this here. So if we put the units in, so the rate units on the top, the concentration units on the bottom. You can hopefully see that we can cancel moles per decimeter cubed, top and bottom, which means that the units of K are going to be just seconds to the minus one. Moving on to second order overall. So there's two ways you can get that in terms of a rate equation. You could have one reactant, second order, or you could have two reactants, so just A and B, both at first order. So to explain the units, I'm going to use this version here. So just like we did before, rearrange to make K the subject of the equation. So we get rate over the product of those two concentrations. All I'm going to do now is put the units in. So we've got the units of rate on the top there, moles per decimeter cube per second. And the reason I went for that version of the equation, sometimes it's easier to see the individual units side by side. So you can see hopefully that we can cancel moles per decimeter cubed on the top with one of the ones on the bottom. So that gives us these units here. I know it looks really messy at the moment. What I'm going to do is take everything up to the top and all that means we need to do is flip the signs. So we've got moles on the bottom. So on the top it's moles to the minus one. We've got dm to the minus three on the bottom. So it becomes dm to the three on the top. Now conventionally you would write the positive power first, so I'm writing dm to the 3, then mol to the minus 1, s to the minus 1, but don't worry if you haven't done that. If you've gone mol minus 1, dm 3, s minus 1, that's fine. And finally, third order overall, so two versions of the rate equation, so you could have two reactants, one second order, one first, overall order 2 plus 1, so third or you could have three individual reactants all at first order. So again, I'm going to use this version of the rate equation to explain the units. So the rearranged formula for K is rate over the product of those three concentrations. So I'll just put the units in now. So that gives us these units here. So we can cancel the moles per decimeter cubed on the top with one of the ones on the bottom, which gives us this here. I'm just going to Multiply these together first and keep them still on the bottom. So we get seconds to the minus one divided by moles squared dm to the minus six. And now I'm going to take these up to the top and just flip the sign of the power, which written conventionally gives us dm to the six, mol to the minus two, s to the minus one. 